Hey gang, Scott here. Quick video for you about the text tool in Photo Raw 2024. Uh, there are times where we want to add text to our photos. There's reasons for it and Photo Raw makes it easy to do. I'll show you how it works in this video. And real quick, if you are thinking about upgrading to Photo Raw 2024 or adding any of the on one tools to your toolkit, check the show notes. I've got an offer code down there for you that will save you a bit of money. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It gives me a little bit of support so I can do more videos like this. Uh, so the text tool. In PhotoRaw 2024, the, the text tool has moved into the layers area. So I want to show you how it works. And uh, as I said at the top, there's there's a couple of reasons or a few reasons we might be adding text to our photos. You know, something about adding descriptive text or a little bit of a story to the text you know adds to the photo uh, or in uh, in the case I'm going to show you here you're preparing some kind of graphic whether it be for you know social media to promote an event or or you know, celebrate a holiday or something like for a uh, for a Christmas card or anything like that you can add lots of text to it so I'm gonna work with this photo here and I am preparing a graphic to add to a upcoming newsletter to promote a workshop that I'm doing in Big Sur so I've got this lovely photo of Big Sur California and I want to add some text to it to it to kind of make this say like a, a card for an event so uh, where is the text tool in the first place so here's the layers pane we open that up and you'll see this T here. That's our text tool, right? Add text layer. Like I mentioned, the, the text tool used to be over in the tool well. It's now in the layers area. So I'll click once on that. And a few things have happened. First, we have our, our control window with our text options here. Notice that a layer has been added to the layer stack, indicating it is a text layer. And we'll get into some of the controls here in just a bit. But you know, first is I, I need to have my text here. And so I know that I want this text to go all the way across my photo. And let's go ahead and select everything. And my workshop is called the Big Sur Experience. Let's just do that there. And let's do some controls here. I want to center that. Uh, my font is good. I like that font. I want it to be bold. I need it to be bigger though. So I'll just start scrolling this up. So I want this to occupy, you know, a good portion of the photo. Uh, and, you know, I need a little bit more in here too. So um, I can go back into the text tool. I double clicked on that. And let me hit enter at the bottom of that. I need to add in the dates, right? So this will be April uh, 8th through the 11th, 2024. Actually, I like to have, I like, I like my, my endings on my numbers like that, but this is too big. So I can select this text and shrink that back down. I don't need the dates to be that big. That feels pretty good. Uh, one other thing I want to do is let's make the, I'm going to hit a carriage return there and use this to kind of make the, the banner across here a little bigger. And this will let me put a space right there so it holds that space open. This will let me show you some other things too that we can do with the text tool. And you notice I have the opacity part open here. If I open or close that, I have these controls. And I can make the text more opaque or not. What I want to do is add a background. So I'm just gonna use this black background at a low opacity so that it offsets the text from the photo and it just makes that more obvious. If I move my mouse away there, you can see, okay, I've got this banner here. Here's the photo. Here's the text. You know, this is great. Um, you know, what else might I need to do here just to show some of the other controls? You know, the spacing is, you know, how much or how little spacing there is in the lines. I'm going to undo those changes because that really got wild as well as the characters, right? You can space the characters out if you so desire, if you need to have a little more, you know, separation in the spacing. You can rotate, you can change, you saw me change the width and the height using the controls here. You can change the angle. So you've got a lot of options that you can do right here in the text, you know, uh, pop-up window, the properties, without having to say, go use the transform tool on that layer. You know, there's some just things that are built in to the text tool. Uh, one other thing I'll show you is you can add multiple text layers. So, you know, one other thing that I probably need for this is like, well, where do people go? All right, so I'm going to go back over to the layers area and click text again. And here's my text. It's remembered what I had set previously. So all of those different settings are there. 
and I need to add in my website, right? So first is I need this to be smaller. I don't need that to be that big for my website. And then we'll click in here, double click, Command or Control A to select everything. If I could spell my own name right, we'll do that. I'll center it. And for this one, I don't need that to be that tall. And I don't need the background, really. I'm just going to put this kind of down at the, the bottom of my card. And then, you know, that's, that's basically it. I think I'm, I'm finished with that. And so now I've added some text to this. This becomes a nice graphic, a nice accompanying card to, uh, to go out with a promotional email for my event. Or if you're doing an event like a holiday party or someone's birthday or your next camera club meeting, things like that. Very easy to add the text to the photos with the text layer. It's add text layer now in Photo Raw 2024. Other questions? Drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.